Yo, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's here once again, bringing you another action figure review. And this time we're doing the DC Multiverse Collect and Connect, frick it, Build-A-Figure Ares from the Wonder Woman wave. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've already had enough of that controversy about whether it's a Build-A-Figure Collect and Connect or whatever. Who cares, man? Just say what you're going to say. That's the way I feel about it, you know? If they don't like it, screw them. You know what I mean? They know what their product is. We know what it is. We can read it on the box. But what I say in my video is just what I say, man. So, I just... <laughs> Alright, we're going to get this guy put together, man. Because uh, he, he looks pretty cool. Um, I think he's actually going to look fantastic next to the Steppenwolf once I get him out of the package and put together. So, uh... That's a really hard piece of plastic right there on the back all right let's get this guy snapped together here to start off with boom looks like he's gonna be kind of tall here's a leg here's another leg little bitty feet for such a big guy all right I'm already liking how the articulation is going to be on this guy. Except for that, this arm right there is going to, not going to get much range because that shoulder piece is pretty much held down by this shoulder strap he's got going on there. So, I don't know. It's like he's already got this natural arch to his back. That I, I don't like that either. And this head sculpt, I would have liked it better if it didn't have this big old freaking monster head thing on it. I, I, well, I don't know. We'll get it on there and see. Yeah, I don't like that, but it's whatever. See, I was excited about this. I wanted to be excited about it, but getting him put together, he's just hindered by some of his armor on the articulation, man. It's, oh, looky there. A rubber band. Away with you, rubber band. All right. First, we'll get this sword in his hand, see how that looks. And it's kind of cool, I guess. Here he is. Aries, up close and personal. But you can't even see his face in there. That bothers me. I just wish it was like a, a, a removable mask would have been cool. But let's check him out with these fiery swords. At least we'll put one of them in his hand and see what we got going on. Oh, they're massive. So this is DC's version of the God of War. Aries. I don't know, man. See, I feel like this sword would go way better with, like, um, I don't know, a, a custom Marvel figure, you know, for Ragnarok or something, you know? Like, ah. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't know. It's a really cool sword, man. It's, it's got that, it's that iridescent plastic. You know, transparent stuff. So that's that's cool. How it's molding in that, but still has enough details that you can still kind of see some of that blue steel inside of it. You know, 
conflict in there. It's, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but it's there. So I don't know which sword. Which sword do you prefer? Because this one, I mean, that's that's it's it's a hot sword, but this one's on fire. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I guess when it comes to this, it's all about preference. And boy, would it be cool if he had some way to sheath one of these swords. Um, sure, you can figure something out. But no, it ain't going to look good. So why don't we just go ahead and double fist it here with these two swords. And uh, yeah, oh man, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So the, the build of figure itself isn't that bad. No ankle pivot, of course. Not even a single double jointed anything on him. And that's the thing, man, like they're, they don't do these build a figures right here for kids. They don't, I mean, what, kids don't care. They're just whatever action figure they like, you know. They're not all about trying to get every single one of them and stuff. These are meant for us, <clears throat> okay? With us collectors in mind. If you got us in mind, then go all out and take care of things. Like, all that, all that good updated articulation on here would have went a long way with this figure right here. Because it's got some good aspects to it. But it could have been better. Could have been a lot better. Like I said, man, I, I, I'm, I'm kicking a dead horse here when I'm complaining about Mattel's articulation on these figures because they don't even, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't even have a chance anymore to redeem themselves. Their license is gone for uh, multiverse figures anyways. So, I don't know, man. I can learn to live with this. It's not that terrible. But I just kind of want to just go behind me real quick. I know it's kind of a distance there, but uh, just to see a size comparison of him up here with his wave mates. You can see how massive he is compared to the rest of the guys. Or, well, mostly gals, I should say. Because he is the only other male in this wave besides Steve Trevor. Yeah, he towers over everybody else. You know, so that's cool, man. I like that. Yeah, he's got a very menacing aspect to him. That that's it, man. That will complete the Wonder Woman wave. All right, one more good look at Ares here, and then his sword that he came with, which I guess they figured like, okay, well, you know what, the sword's cool, but let's give him something even cooler, and then they added that other chicken to the wave so uh i don't know it's cool i'll find a will find a place for this somewhere in my collection all right man that was aries right there collecting connect hope you guys liked it hope you guys might like my video don't forget to definitely comment and share and you are checking out Master Marvel 80 on YouTube. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace out.